For the second time in a week, a big legal settlement involving allegations of inappropriate conduct within the Kern County Sheriff's Department. Good evening. I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Tim Callahan. Another million dollar lawsuit involving the, the department was settled today. And 23 ABC's Ken Masenshi has been following the settlement and has the details. There's no amount of money that can make the pain and emotional distress that she suffered go away. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think this gives her some closure. One million dollars is what the victim of former sheriff's deputy Gabriel Lopez's sexual assault will receive after the county of Kern and the victim's attorney settled on Monday. Lopez was arrested in 2013 after sexually assaulting two women. He is currently serving a two-year prison sentence for the crimes. The settlement is for the civil case filed against Lopez. The idea in civil court is to focus on the victim so that she's fairly compensated uh, for what she's been through. Neil Gelawat, the plaintiff's attorney, says that shortly after the sexual assault in 2013, the county of Kern and sheriff's officials visited the victim and offered her $10,000 to settle the case. We feel very lucky, and I think she feels very lucky that she talked to her father on the phone at one point during the negotiations, and he told her not to take any deal. While Gelawat's client did not take the deal, the other victim accepted $5,000 to settle the case. Gelawat says she later testified that she fit Feels like she was conned. It really says something when the case now settles for 100 times the amount that our client was offered and 200 times the amount that the other lady accepted. Meanwhile, the settlement comes a few days after the $3.4 million settlement involving David Silva. Gelawat says his firm's press conference for Silva did not sit well with the county of Kern and played a small role in this settlement. One of the conditions uh, of the settlement in this case was that uh, we couldn't do a press conference. We reached out to Kern County Council who said that Chain Conan Stiles may have violated the terms of the settlement by announcing the deal and the county is now evaluating whether the agreement is still valid. Sheriff Youngblood this afternoon said he plans to comment tomorrow. 